So what is going on YouTube? My name is Mehul and welcome back to another video, which would be a start off a little bit of um, a mini series, you can say within the series itself. And that would be covering the Flexbox layout system in CSS. Now the whole point we are learning CSS is obviously to make our web pages more beautiful. But uh, how, will your, how would your web pages be beautiful if you do not have a consistent layout on your page, right? And layouts have been really a pain with CSS in the past, right? With CSS3 and, you know, all these advancements, you're pretty lucky to be coding in this era of a web when it's super easy and simple to create complicated layouts as well with CSS, just with CSS without involving JavaScript at all using the Flexbox system and the Grid API system. Grid API system is a pretty advanced one, um, but Flexbox for the most part is very simple and I guess everyone should know it, how it works. So let me just go ahead and remove this. Uh, let me just go ahead and actually just start from a clean slate. I'm gonna start in a different CSS file, so there's that. So I'm gonna go ahead and first of all, just link it, link this um, file real quick. And we have href of styles styles.css right now what i'm going to go ahead is i'm going to go ahead and do something like this so i'm going to say that we have a div id of uh, um, you know row right and i'm going to go ahead and create three nested divs inside this right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my styles.css and I'm going to start working uh, to show these three divs on my screen, these three internal divs. So first things first, what I need is I'm going to say this row should have a height of, um, let's say, 100 pixel, right? And what I want is the div inside this row. Every div inside this particular row should have should follow a certain style now how do i do that i cannot really just go ahead and target the div because then it will just go ahead and target this particular div as well but what i can do is i can go ahead and write row give it a space and then a div so what this means right here is that okay just go ahead go to the row selector that is this one and find every div inside this so it's going to find every div inside this row selector so even, even this div right here, right? It will only find divs and nothing else, right? So yeah, there we are. So every div inside row should have a background of let's say red, right? Height of 100 pixel and width of 100 pixel as well, right? So this is how, and I guess I should not really uh write anything here at all because once we are defining the divs height and width it's all fine you see we get this giant rectangle but this is actually three squares which are just squashed together so how do we create a basic space in between them well we start with a little bit of margin right so you give it a margin of 10 pixel that means that it is going to have 10 pixels off here 10 pixels off here 10 pixels off here 10 pixels off here right so now what happens is that they're all stacked like this because remember how I told you that, uh, um, you know, div is a block element. So it tries to take up as much space as it can on the screen and then, you know, just moves down. But we have restricted the width of every div. Then why doesn't it just, just you know, stacks it up like this? Because div, again, div is a block element. So what can I make, what can I do to make sure that um, this div stacks in the horizontal row. Well, for starters, it could be, you can say that, well, Mehul, you can just go ahead and say display in line. Well, that does not really work, right? Now, why is that? Remember how I told you that display in line actually falls back to the amount of content it has. And because these three divs are empty, they have no content at all, right? So the display in line makes those divs shrink to zero. And you can clearly see say that we have some warnings as well properties ignored due to the display in line right so these properties have no effect with the display in line whatever 
So once we have that cleared out, we need, we certainly need some sort of way to move them in a single row. Now there are a bunch of them, trust me, but the most convenient one is that you say the row is instead of display block or you know none or whatever you say this is display flex right and at this point you can um you know not really no let's just keep the height and width as it is so what just happened something magical happened here right well yeah sort of so flex is a flexbox display system a flexbox layout system which allows you to stack things in single direction in either horizontal or in either vertical by default flexbox falls back to stacking things inside horizontal now you see that if i go ahead and start putting in more divs you're going to see these all stack inside horizontal only and you can clearly see it's not really respecting my width attribute here at all because you see the height is 100 pixel but the width is clearly shrinking now this is the default behavior for flexbox right it tries to account for as many divs as it can so if i go ahead and remove the margin let's say if i if i just go ahead i guess i can just remove this margin at all no not really so if i go ahead and put the margin back to like two pixels or something like that so this we have a little space so you see we can see an increase in width but if i go ahead and increase more number of divs so there's that the divs kind of you know are getting squashed together so that's a basic introduction to flexbox system we're going to be learning about a ton of stuff inside what happens with flexbox in this little mini series which is ongoing so yeah that's basically it for this video if you liked it don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you then very soon in the next video